Several weeks ago, I did a segment talking about the fact that experts in extremism and experts in domestic terrorism have been warning us for quite some time that if Donald Trump loses the 2024 election, or if Donald Trump gets a criminal conviction that could send him to prison this year, we can expect not that it may happen, but we can expect horrific acts of violence from Trump's supporters. That leads me to another question here. This one is from Robert Wheeler, eight, nine, nine, four. Robert Wheeler asks, will the Capitol be better protected in this election? What happens if MAGA strikes again? I don't think it's a question of if like, will the Capitol be better protected? hundred percent. Like, I, I think we all kind of know that, yeah, they're not going to make that mistake again. Um, the problem of course is not just the Capitol. Will MAGA strike if Donald Trump loses the election? Absolutely. The experts have already told us it will happen. And they're saying that not based on, oh, historical evidence says this. They look at the social media posts. They look at the online posts of these Trump supporters that are telling us we will do bad things if Trump gets in trouble or if he loses the election. So this is not speculation. This is based on the promises these people are making if something happens to him. So what has to happen at this point is that the FBI actually has to step the game up because before the Capitol riot, before January 6, 2021, both here and over at ring of fire, I was doing segments talking about the threats and everybody else was too. It wasn't just me, by the way. Um, we were all doing segments talking about the threats that these people were making online saying that they're going to take over the Capitol. They're going to do these horrific acts of violence. And that was before January 6th. So all of these things were public. There were articles about them. There were videos about them. We knew what they were going to do and when they were going to do it. There was no question about it. Hell <clears throat> police in DC actually arrested a couple people when they got off the plane to arrive in DC a day before the Capitol riot. They apprehended people based on their threats online. They didn't get them all obviously, but they knew and they still didn't do it. I don't think they're going to make the same mistake this time. But again, the FBI has to keep an eye out on this. I'm not wanting them to just spy on everybody's social media, but if somebody comes across a, a threat online, I'm going to do this horrific thing. If Trump goes to jail or if he gets convicted or if he loses the election, those things need to be reported. And the FBI needs to get on a plane and go knocking on some doors. They, they have the ability to do that. They could stop these things in their tracks if they address the threats when they arise. And you, you, you do that to send a warning to everybody else. Like, Hey, listen, this guy said he was gonna, you know, come and, and destroy the Capitol. If Trump loses, we just arrested him. So anybody else want to post something stupid like that? Go ahead. Just know that we're going to be there in a few hours to haul you in too. You have to scare these people almost with that threat of arrest and trial and conviction and jail. They didn't do it in 2021. Hopefully they will do it as these threats emerge this year. Cause again, the experts are telling us it's not a question of if it's a question of when.